Hey guys, it's Brian from Mega Robotics. Let me ask you guys a question. What do you focus on the most when you're trying to get a robot vacuum? Of course, it's going to be the cleaning efficiency, right? In the last video, we've showed you how good it is for the rubbing power. After the experience, it shows that it's even better than the handheld floor cleaner. But today, we're going to show you how good it is for the vacuum power. In order to test how good is a vacuum power, we've built a testing environment with 4 meters times 4 meter width and 172 square feet. And there'll be some obstacle here and with two type of floor texture, which is the carpet and the cement. And we'll leave 70 grams of oatmeal and 15 M&Ms on the floor. And there are three things we're gonna examine. The first thing is to see how many oatmeal can be cleaned. The second thing is how many M&Ms can be cleaned. The first thing, of course, is the time that's been taken. In today's vacuum cleaning efficiency test, we have three different robot vacuum from three different brands. First off, this is a robot vacuum from iBrand. This one can only vacuum, right? And here is our old friend, our brand that can vacuum and mop the floor. Lastly, over here is our sender, the world's first stair climbing robot vacuum. So guys, let's let the test begin. First up is our robot vacuum mop from our brand. We set to its daily cleaning mode. Its mode balance throughness and speed quite well. The robot's obstacle avoidance and cleaning routes are clear, and it completes its task efficiently. Okay, the cleaning work is done. Let's take a closer look at the result. Most of the oats are gone, but there are still a few staggers left on the floor. Next, we have a vacuum from iBrand a top seller in North America on Amazon with 30k units sold per month. Let's see how it performs. iBrand uses official navigation, avoiding obstacles by bumping into them as part of its path planning. The route planning is just as good as mainstream leader approach. Impressive. But surprisingly, it deemed the cleaning zone in just four minutes and returned to its base. Upon closer inspection, too many oats and M&Ms were left behind. Finally, we have a sender. As seen on camera, a sender does a great job on the cement floor and occasionally misses spots on the carpet. This is expected. Equipped with a leader and an HD camera, it avoids obstacles and plans its routes precisely. During cleaning, a sender even performs a drift, moving laterally around obstacles. So cool. After five minutes, most of the oats and M&Ms had vanished, but why were there still leftovers at the edge? No worries, a sender wasn't done yet. Remember, it can move laterally, and there it goes. Most debris in the corner was nicely cleaned up, proving once again that a sender is the best vacuum around. And here's the result for today. The robot vacuum from Brand Out got 40 M&Ms and 62 grams, which is a good result. And here comes the robot vacuum from Brand I got 7 m and 57 grams, which is the not so good like compared with all three of them. And the winner is a sender, got all 15 m and 66 grams of oatmeal. That's all for the days. Thank you guys.